When we think about biodiversity, we often think about endangered emblematic species or threatened ecosystems. But actually, most of the biological diversity on the planet lies at a different level. Prokaryotes, this is bacteria and archaea, make up most of the biological diversity of the planet. Actually, the real extent of the microbial world is still a matter of debate, but is roughly estimated to be at least 1 billion bacterial and archaeal species. In other words, if Noah were to take one individual of each species on board of any ark, 99% of the passengers will be prokaryotic. However, most of this diversity is still unknown. Only 11,000 prokaryotic species have been described and cultivated in the laboratory. This is less than 1% of the estimated prokaryotic diversity. The vast majority remains uncultured and has only been detected by molecular techniques. It's like finding the fingerprints in a crime scene without knowing yet who the suspect is. Bacteria and archaea are also extremely abundant, more than 10 to the power of 30 individuals. There are more bacteria and archaea on Earth than the stars in the universe. One could argue that we study the microbial world just because it's there. It's so big and so mysterious that it would be just silly to ignore it. But the fact is that bacteria and archaea are behind most of the transformations in the elemental cycles on Earth. They play a key role in most of the ecosystems on the biosphere. They are indeed the guardians on the planet. At the General Microbiology Group, we focus on the diversity of microorganisms adapted to live in extreme conditions. An approach to study them is to mimic their optimal conditions for growth. This requires very specific tactics, like cultivation media, temperatures, or even anoxia. Quite often, we have to rely on molecular techniques. We can try to identify new microorganisms based on the DNA fingerprint. Sometimes we sequence their genomes, the equivalent to obtain their full ID. These can give us information about their potential physiological traits. But any given bacterial or archaeal genome is still full of secrets and contains hundreds of genes with unknown function. In order to find out, we clone some of these genes into another host and induce its expression under control conditions. Then we purify the protein and eventually characterize its activity and its structure. Microbiology, molecular biology and biochemistry. These are the tools that we use to reveal the secrets of the unseen majority. And all this happens here at the General Microbiology Lab. Do you want to know more? Visit us or write to us.